Southeast Kansas County is launching a new effort tonight to more quickly evaluate the mental competency of people charged with a crime. It's believed to be the first program of its kind here in the state. It aims to circumvent a statewide issue that delays the prosecution of hundreds of criminal cases every year. We take you inside this new Douglas County program. Over the last probably 10 years, I would guess, we have, we have seen more people and we have seen uh, people who are even more severely mentally ill in, my, in, in, my, in this little corner of the world than I had ever seen before. Douglas County Sheriff Jay Armbrister is leading a push to speed up the adjudication of court cases involving defendants deemed not mentally competent. He says a backlog in available beds at Larned State Hospital means those who need competency restoration treatment may sit in the Douglas County Jail for a year or more just waiting with their court case paused. Not only are they just sitting in jail waiting to go, they are decompensating as, as we speak. So the sheriff, the district court, and community mental health provider Burt Nash are taking action. A recent change in state law allows counties to conduct competency evaluations and restoration. All we're trying to do is basically take the work that's being done at the Lorna State Hospital and move it into our local facility. Thus, and by doing that, we're cutting out that wait time, hopefully. Sheriff Armbrister says getting defendants through the system more quickly will alleviate pressure on jail staff. He thinks the program may also provide a model for other Kansas counties. Maybe we can create a program that can move into Shawnee, Johnson, Reno, Sedgwick, the bigger counties who have more resources and that they can begin doing that work to thus lessening again the need for Lorned to have to have this constant wait list. Sheriff Armbrister told us the cost for the idea in this program would be in labor, which they're already paying now, but any medications used as part of a competency restoration plan would be paid for by the state. The program also has set timetables for the Burt Nash Community Mental Health Center staff there in Lawrence to report back to the judge and the court on the progress of that treatment.